Selling on Amazon, Beginner's Ultimate Guide. It's no secret. Amazon obsesses over its customers and their customers want a trusted destination where they can purchase a wide variety of goods, which is what makes sellers like you so important. According to founder and CEO Jeff Bezos, the company is always looking for ways to add value for its customers and be Earth's most customer-centric company. As an Amazon seller, you take part in offering those customers better selection, better prices, and a top-notch customer experience. Watch this video to get specific high-level information that will help you start your journey selling on Amazon. If you want to dive in deeper on any subject, visit the company's dedicated portal, sell.amazon.com, for more information about all the topics covered in today's video. Watch now. Welcome back to another edition of the Awesome Sudi Kiwi Show. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous if you were to ask me. Today we want to dive deep into um, Amazon, how to be a seller, how to be a profitable seller on Amazon. I first want to talk about the fact that when you start selling on Amazon, you become part of a retail destination that's home to sellers of all kind, from Fortune 500 organizations to artists and vendors who make handcrafted goods. This is the Amazon Edge. They all sell here for a reason. They want to reach the hundreds of millions of customers who visit Amazon to shop, right? Since third-party sellers joined Amazon in 1999, we're talking here 20 years ago, they've grown to account for 58% of Amazon sales. Third-party sales on Amazon are growing at 52% a year, compared to 25% for first-party sales by Amazon. This is huge, folks. The question is, is Amazon right for your business? Before you even start thinking about becoming a seller on Amazon, you got to ask yourself, is Amazon right for your business? Short answer is yes. The largest household brands sell on Amazon. Think about it. So do emerging brands that will pop on, on your radar soon. Small and medium-sized businesses thrive on the platform and they account for more than half the units sold on the Amazon stores worldwide. Whatever your business is and whatever size it is, Amazon is excited for you to grow with them. So you want to find your fit and start selling today. Now let me give you a quick set of statistics to tell you what we're talking about here. You have more than 300 million active customers in more than 180 countries. That's the market we're talking to. As a seller on Amazon, you are reaching a huge market. You have 195 million monthly unique visitors in the United States alone. You also have 1.5 billion reported, and those numbers come from the from the company itself. 1.5 billion dollars reported sales by third-party businesses during Prime Day 2018. Now, before you start selling on Amazon, let's just quickly go through the things that you need to keep in mind. How to register. With two selling plans, they're called individual and professional, but you can think of them as standard and premium. Amazon offers you the flexibility to sell one item or sell thousands. The choice is yours. So before you begin registration, you, you need to decide which plan is a better fit for your business. So the individual, so we have the individual plan that costs one dollar per sale so 99 cents per sale while sellers using the professional plan pay 39.99 at the as of the time of this show about 40 bucks per month no matter how many items they sell if you sell more than 40 items a month the professional option makes a lot sense right whichever plans you select though don't worry about making the wrong choice you can change planes at, at any time so you can start small if you're not very sure about what you want to get yourself into so you get the individual plans first and then as your business booms you can upgrade to the professional plan the individual plan might be right if you plan to sell fewer than 40 items a month that's what i said earlier you want to keep up you want to keep upfront cost low you don't need advanced selling tools or add-on programs and you're still deciding what to sell so you are in the exploratory zone you're still exploring things the professional plan however might be right if you plan to sell more than 40 items a month so you are amortizing the cost of membership 
you want access to advanced selling tools, you like to apply for add-on programs like Amazon Business, Launchpad, or Handmade, and you are an established e-commerce seller. Our advice is to go for the professional plan right away because the offer there in terms of selling tools is just fantastic. It's wonderful. So tool, let me give you some tools for brand owners. If you own a brand, Amazon offers tools to help you build, grow, and protect it. So you can enroll in brand registry so that you can personalize your brand and product pages, protect your trademarks and intellectual property, and also improve the brand experience for customers, along with unlocking additional advertising options and recommendations on improving traffic and conversion. What you will need to get started, if you are ready to start it, in order to complete your registration, make sure you have the access to your bank account number and bank routing number, a chargeable credit card, government issued national ID, tax information, and phone number. How much does it cost to sell on Amazon? There are a few different types of selling fees you might pay depending on your selling plans and the types of products you sell. As I said earlier, you have subscription fees that are already covered. So you have professional selling plan. There is a flat fee of $39.99 per month and no per item fee. And then on the individual selling plan, there is a 0.99 fee for each item sold. So that's subscription fees. And then you have to add selling fees. So these fees are charged per item sold and they include referral fees, which are a percentage of the selling price. And those vary depending on the product category and variable closing fees, which apply only to media categories. Besides selling fees and um, subscription fees, you also have shipping fees. So when you fulfill orders on Amazon, Amazon shipping rates apply. So that's if you fulfill orders yourself they charge those shipping rates based on the product category and shipping service selected by the buyer. And then you have FBA fees. So those are for products that Amazon fulfills for you. And those are known as fulfilled by Amazon FBA. And there are fees for auto fulfillment, storage, and optional services. I will talk more about the FBA fees later on in, in today's show. Now we want to get to know seller central. What is seller central? Once you register as an Amazon seller, you'll have access to your Seller Central account. Think of Seller Central as your go-to resources for selling on Amazon. It is a portal to your Amazon business and it's actually a one-stop shop for managing your selling account, adding product information, making, it, making inventory updates. You can also manage payments and you can find helpful content to help you navigate your Amazon business. This is also where you decide to list your products, which one you want to list and which you don't want to list. Let me, let me just walk you, as you can see on the screen right now, we have uh, a representation from Amazon and I just want to uh, walk you through. So you have, you have number one, this is where you keep track of your inventory and updates. You are listing from the inventory tab. Two, you can download custom business report and bookmark templates you use often. On the third item here, you can see to the far to the bottom left, you can use customer metrics tools to monitor your seller performance. Number four, you can contact the selling partner support and open help tickets using the case log. You can keep track of your uh, daily sales for all the products you sell on Amazon. Let me just kind of remind you folks that you also have the Amazon seller app. So you can use the app to keep track of your Amazon business even while you are on the go. So that app lets you analyze your sales, fulfill orders, find products to sell, to sell. You can manage offers and inventory, respond to client questions, capture and edit professional quality product photos and create listings. That's just wonderful. The, the offer there, the offer on the app is just awesome. And you can do all of these things right from your mobile device. So you want to always be a swipe closer to your Amazon business. So I would say the first thing you want to do is to download the Amazon seller app. If you are really serious about making money on the, uh, on the platform, let's talk about how to list products. Listing your first products on Amazon to sell a product on Amazon. You must first create a product listing. So either match an existing listing if somebody else is already selling the same product on Amazon or 
you can create a new listing and if you are the very first person or only seller for that product the specific way sellers upload and list their products varies depending on the selling plan to put it simply sellers using a professional seller account have the option of listing their products in large batches using bulk uploading or inventory management with third-party systems while individual sellers list products one at a time this is one of the reasons why i was telling you earlier to go for the um, professional uh, seller account right away because the the possibilities and the features and the capabilities are way better there what you need to start listing products in most cases products must have something called get it g10 get it i call it get it it's a global trade item number such as upc and isbn or ean so amazon uses the product ids to identify the exact item you're selling if you match a listing you won't need to provide a product id since it already exists so if you're adding a product that's new to amazon you may need to purchase a upc code or request an exception or an exemption so in addition to a product id here here is some of the important information that goes into each product listing so you have sku the product title the product description and bullet points product images search terms and relevant keywords now let me just quickly say that there are some restricted product categories because customers are able to shop with confidence on amazon because the company has some restrictions around the company so some product categories like certain grocery or automotive products are known as restricted product categories amazon might require performance checks additional fees and other qualifications in order for you to sell certain brands or list items within restricted categories you'll be able to request approval from within seller central now you have to think about listing as a critical step because a successful listing means a successful launch so following best practices for adding listings can have a big impact on your success making it easy for shoppers to find your offers by adding descriptive titles clear images and concise feature bullets to your items so avoid those things that could negatively impact your launch and there are three three things that you have to be very aware of and, and those are big no-nos variation issues so products that vary only by color scent or size might be a good candidates for listing as variations ask yourself if the customer would expect to find the products together on the same page or not so if not list them separately image compliance your images must be at least 500 by 500 pixels you want to increase the size to 1000 by 1000 for high quality listings and set against a plain white background the product should fill at least 80 percent of the image area next product ids make sure you're meeting the requirements for products upc and get in gt gtins global trade item number consistency in those codes helps promote confidence in the range of products in the amazon category i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the, the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are actually having a conversation about selling on Amazon. This is the ultimate, the beginner's ultimate um, guide. And I'm trying to walk you through all the steps you need to sell on Amazon profitably. If you love the content's clarity and quality so far, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell. We really appreciate that. Let's talk now about the product detail page. The product detail page, let me just say what's what this is where customers view a product sold on amazon so if you've shopped on amazon before you you probably recognize the product detail page it's where customers can find all the relevant information about a particular item so when multiple sellers offer the same product amazon combines data from all the offers into one product detail page so the company can present customers with the best experience you as a seller can propose product information on a product detail page along with other sellers and manufacturers and then request detail page reviews if you think the information is not correct as you are building your product detail pages you want to think about an important thing what will be the best way to help customer find customers find your products 
discover answers to their questions and make a purchasing decision. That's the bottom line. You want them to purchase. Aim for the ultimate. You want to aim for the ultimate customer experience by making your listings concise, accurate, and clear. They must be easy to understand. One thing I want to talk to you is that there's something called Amazon Brand Registry. I spoke about that earlier. But if you sell your products under a registered trademark, you may be eligible to enroll in Amazon Brand Registry at no extra charge. Now, Brand Registry gives you control over product detail pages that use your brand name and lets you add more rich media like videos and enhanced text information to your detail pages. Let's talk now about the detail page. On the screen right now, we we're showing you a screenshot from uh, Amazon and um, you have a, a picture that, had, that shows six items. So one is uh, the images of the products. Make sure they're at least 500 by 500 and boost that size by to 1000 to one by 1000 to increase the quality of your listing. Two, that's the title of the products. Use 50 characters maximum and capitalize the first letter of every word. Three, any variation of your products you have available, which may include things like different colors, scents, or sizes. And folks, I want you to look at the uh, the, the screen right now because we have uh, we have this is this is a perfect picture that we took from uh, Amazon, and they show this very well. Number four is the description. So this can be optimized for search engines using keywords to improve the reach of your product listings. Five. The featured offer. This is the section of the product page where customers can add items to their card or buy now. If you are one of multiple sellers advertising the same products, research the strategies for winning the featured offer to improve your overall sales. And then the bullet points information, which that's number six. This should be short, descriptive sentences highlighting the product key features and differentiating characteristics. Let's talk now about how to deliver products. If you have a wonderful product page, that's pretty cool. If people are interested and they want to do business with you, how do you deliver products? Selecting the right fulfillment option. Let's first talk about that. Amazon, as an Amazon seller, you have two options, two options for getting shoppers their stuff. You can do it yourself, maintaining your own inventory and shipping products to customers. That's what Amazon called merchant fulfillments. That's number one or have Amazon take responsibility for things like packaging, labeling, and shipping products through something called FBA. That's fulfillment by Amazon. Each method has its own set of benefits. You just have to decide which one is right for you. Now, if you are fulfilling your own orders, merchant fulfilled just means you store and ship products directly to customers yourself. So Amazon charges shipping rates based on the product category and shipping service selected by the customer, then passes the amount on to you in the form of a shipping credit. Set shipping rates apply to all products sold within an individual plan. So it is important to determine if you can still price items profitably. Amazon's buy shipping tool can help you get a great deal on shipping labels with Amazon's trusted network of shipping partners, ship and confirm your uh, orders and track your shipments. They are now that's if you're doing things yourself. Now let's talk about FBA. There are two types of FBA fees. But before I even talk about that, let me just explain to you about explain to you a little bit about FBAs. The benefits of of FBA. Around the world, Amazon has more than 175 fulfillment centers, which contain more than 150 million square feet of storage space. With FBA, you get to store your stuff on those shelves. You also get Amazon's world-class customer service and returns, along with other advantages like automatic prime eligibility and free super saver shipping that help you scale your business fast. How does the whole thing work? How does the whole fulfillment by Amazon works? How does it work? You ship your inventory to Amazon. It will be scanned and made available for sale. With each order, Amazon packages and ship the product directly to the customer. Amazon collects payment from the customer and pays you available funds every two weeks. Amazon's customer service team handles questions, returns, and refunds. 
Now, let's talk about fees for using FBA. There are two types of FBA fees. Fulfillment fees, which are charged per unit sold and include picking and packing your orders, shipping and handling, customer service, and product returns, and inventory storage fees, which are charged monthly and are based on the volume of inventory being held in an Amazon fulfillment center. I'll talk more about that later on. So, but the, the big numbers to remember here is that we have 175 fulfillment centers and 150 million square feet of storage space. That's huge. Let's talk now about after you, you made your first sale, let's say you, you have the product page is a pretty is detailed. Everything is fine. You have you have chosen FBA versus your own your, your own shipping program and you've made your first sale. What's next? Managing your Amazon business. Your first sale is a big milestone. Don't get me wrong about that, but it's just the beginning of your growth opportunities selling on Amazon. So once your store is up and running, there are a few important things to keep in mind. Performance metrics and why they matter. Amazon sellers operate at a high standards so the platform can provide a seamless, delightful shopping experience. That's the bottom line here. And Amazon calls call it being customer obsessed. And as, a, as a, an Amazon seller, it means keeping an eye on this key metrics. Order defect rate. So this is a measure of a seller's customer service standards. And this must be less than 1%. The pre-fulfillment cancel rate initiated by the seller before shipment. It must be less than 2.5%. In other words, 97%, 97.5% of all your orders must go through, at least, at least. And then you have the late shipment rate, orders orders that ship after the expected date should be less than 4%. So 1% for order defect rate, 2.5% for pre-fulfillment cancel rate, and late shipment rate, 4%. So you can keep tabs on your performance and make sure you are meeting your targets in Seller Central. So that's number one, performance metrics. Number two, customer reviews. Customer product reviews are an integral part of the shopping experience on Amazon and uh, they benefit both customers and sellers. So you always wanna make sure that you're familiar with the right way and wrong way to get more product reviews and avoid policy violations. And the great thing here within the platform is that Amazon has something called Seller University and this is a great online platform, online resource from Amazon with videos that feature step-by-step -step guides, tutorials, and training to help entrepreneurs like you start and grow their Amazon business. So you can visit, there is even a YouTube channel called Seller University and you can start learning today. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I'm very uh, happy we're, we're still having a conversation around selling on Amazon, and I'm giving you the beginners step by step that you need to know to start selling today on Amazon. And um, I just want to mention the fact that if you love the clarity and quality of the content so far, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell so we can uh, inform you when we release a new show. And we do this kind of shows every single day, rain or shine. Let's talk now about the opportunities for business growth once you are on um, Amazon. This is only the beginning. The moment you're selling on Amazon is the moment you can start growing your Amazon business, if you think about it. So once you've launched a business, Amazon has tools in place to help you take your business to the next level or the next couple of levels. Again, it depends on um, the plan. It depends on your own motivation, the whole, the whole operational model that you have, which is why, again, I, I want to recommend that you choose the professional plan right away because you want to get in business you want to think of amazon as a business and you want to think of your amazon business as as a real business so 40 bucks a month is an expense it's an operational expense that you have to uh, to pay but it will help you so let's talk about advertising so amazon's advertising solutions create new ways for you to reach and engage shoppers remember we're talking about 300 million plus customers and you can reach and we can reach and engage shoppers regardless of whether they're just starting to compare products or ready to make a purchase ads show up right where customers will see them like the first page of search results or product detail pages 
Amazon offers three advertising solutions and all of them are accessible through Seller Central. So you have something called sponsored products. So those are ads for individual product listing on Amazon. So they help drive product visibility and product sales. They appear on search result pages and product detail pages. Besides that, you have uh, sponsored brands. Sponsored brands showcase your brand and product portfolio. So they are search result ads that feature your brand logo, a custom headlines and up to three of your products. And then you also have Amazon stores. Stores are custom multi-page shopping destinations for individual brands that let you share your brand story and product offerings. And the great thing here is that folks, you don't need any website experience to use them. It's already pre-packaged for you. Another thing that is important is that you can um, grow on Amazon through promotions and coupons. Customers wants to save and promotions are an incentive to make a purchase now. There are three types of promotions you can actually run on um, Amazon as a seller. Money off, free shipping, and buy one get one free. So you can also use offer percentage or money off discounts with digital coupons. Let's talk about global expansion because that's the ultimate goal of any Amazon seller. Once you start making money on the on the platform, you feel you feel comfortable, you feel uh, motivated. You might want to expand globally. Selling globally is a huge milestone for any business. It means hundreds of millions of new customers and the potential for a big boost in sales. Global expansion has a lot of moving parts, but with Amazon Global Selling, you get to use Amazon Global Infrastructure to get your products in front of a worldwide audience. And that's the beauty of the whole that's the beauty of the whole um, process here. So when it's time to take your business to the next level, you want to use Amazon Global Selling to list and sell your products on any of uh, the company's online stores in North America, Europe, and Asia. There's something called FBA export. So at no extra charge, you can expand your FBA business to more than 100 countries minus the complexities of international selling. So FBA exports allows international customers to purchase export eligible products from your selling marketplace. Let's talk now about, and we're going to wrap up today's conversation here. What makes a great seller on Amazon? And this is something that we just want to wrap up today's conversation. Let me give you a checklist for growth. Opportunities for growth are all around you, but here are a few things to try in your first 90 days as an Amazon seller. You want to keep an eye on your account health in Seller Central. I spoke to you about some of the, the metrics that Amazon pays attention to. Hey, you want to be really, really, really below those metrics, the 1%, the 2.5%, and the 4%. Keep an eye on your account health in Seller Central. Use Fulfillment by Amazon or Seller Fulfilled Prime, FBA. We have an, an, a different show for Seller Fulfilled Prime. I will talk about that. You want to advertise your listings or offer deals and coupons. The idea here is to get customers comfortable and familiar with your products and services so they can start buying from you. Enroll in brand registry and create enhanced brand content. This is kind of cool too because if your goal is to become professional on the platform you want to have a brand you have you want to have a captivating logo from the get-go expand your selection by listing more products of course you can start with one product two or three but at some point the goal is to expand your product catalog and sell more especially if you are targeting a global audience you also want to use the automated pricing tool in Seller Central to be able to adjust prices automatically as opposed to manually. So the bottom line here is that your first 90 days, the first three months after you launch your Amazon business, those months are an important time for establishing practices that will boost your performance from there on out. And you want to have best practices from the get go so that customers can can tell the difference between you and your competitors and you yourself should start reaping the benefits right away. That was it, folks. I really appreciated you uh, being with us today. I wish you uh, luck as an Amazon seller. 
I wish that you will uh, find our our tutorial very informative and very straight to the point and that can help you rip millions on the platform. Good luck and I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay moral.